Hello friends and welcome to my channel Knitting Kitty. Do you remember my cute graduation arrow? If you still haven't crocheted it, I will put a link in the video description below. In one of my previous tutorials I show you how to make a small wire glasses for your amigurumi. And today I will show you how to crochet this cute mini graduation cap. The height of the cap is only 2 cm and the square part is 3.5 cm long. You can crochet this cap for your amigurumi dolls or you can transform it into a keychain. This is the perfect graduation gift. Um, it's a fast crochet project, you can use any color you like and you won't need it much yarn. So let's get started. First we are going to crochet the square part of the cap. Chain 8 stitches, then make a single crochet in the second chain stitch away from the hook. Continue crocheting single crochet till the end of the chain. For row 2, chain 1 and turn, then crochet single crochet in each stitch across the row. Crochet 5 more rows repeating the same steps, chain 1 and turn, then crochet single crochet in every stitch of the previous row. Crochet 2 more single crochet in the last stitch, then continue crocheting single crochet all around the square. Put 2 single crochet in each corner, then finish with a slip stitch. Using a darning needle, hide the yarn tails. Now 
Let's crochet in the second part of the cap. Make a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For the next round, crochet an increase in each stitch of the previous round. For round 3, let's crochet single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat 3 single crochet, then make an increase in the next stitch. Repeat these steps till the end of the round until you have 15 stitches. For the next round, crochet only in the back loops of every stitch. Make a slip stitch in the first stitch, then chain 2. This chain does not count as double crochet. Then crochet double crochet in the first stitch where you've made the slip stitch. Continue crocheting double crochet in each stitch till the end of the round. with a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. For round 5, chain 2, then crochet double crochet in every stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet, then leave a long tail for sewing. Now let's sew the two parts together. We have to sew the rounded part in the center of the square one. Now let's make the cap tassel. Cut a large yarn tail about 70 or 80 centimeters long. Leave a long initial tail. Then wrap the rest of the yarn around three of your fingers. When you wrap all the yarn, take it off from your fingers. Now use a smaller piece of yarn, wrap it around the middle 
and make a knot. in the middle. Use the initial piece of yarn and wrap it a few times around the base of the tassel. darning needle and the rest of the yarn tail you've just wrapped around the tassel's base. Insert the needle below the wrapped yarn at the base of the tassel and make another knot. Finally poke the needle through the base of the tassel. We will use this yarn tail to sew the tassel to the cap. Use scissors and cut in the middle the folded yarn to form the tassel strings. Then cut the strings so they are even. Use a comb, I've used my cat comb, to brush the strings a little bit. All you have to do now is to sew the tassel to the cap and there you are the graduation cap is ready thanks for watching